What's up everybody, I'm Kyle and this is the Vervet Forest. The Goliath babies, Jerry, Joby, and Dee Dee, are doing fantastic with Mrs. Gold. Plenty of other females and juveniles have been visiting in and out of the intro enclosure, and they've all taken a liking to these new babies. The mood is fantastic. Everyone is foraging, feeding, playing, and grooming. After weeks of grooming through the fence, Elliot has finally met his first potential foster mom. Her name is Bisu. The moment Bisu entered the intro enclosure, Elliot's entire demeanor changed. He calmed right down and got as close to her as he possibly could. At first, Bisu was more interested in the sunflower seeds on the ground than she was in the little baby monkey. But that didn't deter Elliot. He walked right over to her, sat down next to her, and started picking up seeds alongside her. This went on for a while. Then, out of nowhere, Bisu pulled Elliot into him, gave him a hug, and tried to groom him. Elliot got so excited. In that moment, Elliot knew he had found love. He jumped all over Bisu and followed her close. <laughs> Elliot is happy as can be. Shemesh is a little goofball. He's easily the youngest in Disneyland, and he's a ton of fun to watch. Merlin has become the unofficial ambassador of Disneyland, and he's taken Shemesh under his wing, showing him all of the best branches and pieces of fruit. Nora is loving it. She's having a great time playing with all of the boys. Overall, the babies are very pleased with their current life. It was supposed to stay. No, it's supposed to get removed, but it needs to get removed surgically, not by hand from the outside of the. Stick, on the other hand, just can't seem to catch a break. Due to all of his movement in Disneyland, the pin in his leg has pushed its way out through his skin. The wound is now being cleaned and bandaged every day. So stoic. Yeah. So did it just push its way through the skin? Because that's not where the stitches were. Yeah, no, the stitches were yeah. along here, but the needle is dangled just like this. Pushed its way out. So it just came through. I don't know if we maybe, I feel like maybe we should have kept him on cage rest, but I think that would have been terrible for him yeah. mentally. During the most recent wound cleaning, the stitches were also removed from his tail. 
More like surgery in the sticks. Fortunately, Stick is a champion, and his chill attitude about the whole situation makes life for everyone involved much easier. Oh, that's a good sound. Over in the Coco intro enclosure, life is perfect for Peggy and Jolie and their foster moms, Panicure and Luca. The two babies have gone from humanized little orphans to wanting absolutely nothing to do with people. Over in Scro, Groot and Zabana are doing great. But I think the happiest monkey in the intro enclosure is Bernadette. She's got her hands full and she's loving it. Dylan, our resident goober of Disneyland, has been moved to the Gizmo Troop intro enclosure. And in an instant, his entire personality changed. The little dude who spent all his time clinging to people has finally gained his confidence. <laughs> you could see the pride in his face as he climbed the trees. He looked like a real monkey. So of course, now that everything is going great in Disneyland, Elliot's got a mom, Dylan's in an intro enclosure, what happens? Another baby arrives. This new orphan has been named Benjamin, and he's probably about three months old, and he's quite large. Fortunately, that works to his advantage. Because of his age and his size, we hope to get him to an intro enclosure to meet a mom as soon as possible. That was the plan. But of course, at the Vervet Monkey Foundation, no plan ever goes according to plan. In an instant, everything changed. The day after Benjamin, we received two new monkeys, a three-month-old female and a little boy who looks a lot like Merlin. The young male has been named Timothy, and he's quite small for his age. Timmy was found in Zanin sitting at the bottom of a water tank, he probably fell in and the troop just couldn't get to him. Poor little Timmy fell in a well and the humans had to fish him out. Hannah came from a much more ridiculous situation. And as Dave tells the story, it goes kind of like this. He got a call that there was a monkey on a farm that had just been rescued next to its dead mother. So he went to the farm to fetch the monkey. When he got there, the people were like, oh yeah, no, the monkey's in the back at our back house. And Dave's like, okay. So he starts walking to the back house and out of nowhere, this old hobo pops up and he's just like, hey, where are you going? You're looking for the monkey? And Dave's like, yeah, where's the monkey at? And the guy's like, oh, I'll show you where the monkey is. And he takes him into the back house. They go into the back house, which is actually just like a little shack. And he takes him to this back room. That's not even a back room. It's just like an L-shaped closet. And they go inside and there's like beds up against all the walls and it's filthy and Dave's looking around like, what the heck? And out of nowhere, this old witchy looking lady pops up and she's like, what are you doing? You looking for the monkey? And the old man's like, yeah, are you seeing the monkey? And this little kid who's like a little wild animal runs out and it's like, it's up there. And he points up to the corner of the ceiling and sure enough, Dave looks up and there's this monkey terrified sitting in the corner of the ceiling, just making mean faces at everyone. And he grabs the monkey and she latches onto him and just starts biting him like crazy. And he takes her out of there, gets in the car and heads back to the VMF. And all he could think was, they probably called me because this monkey was biting them like crazy. And they were probably concerned for their own lives just as much as she was concerned for her life. Hannah is insane. She's all over the place, climbing, running, jumping, screaming, biting, and more biting and more biting. Ah, ah, ah. 
Dear oh. God, monkey. Come on, let's get you some rescue. Timothy is way more chill than Hannah, but he's also pretty malnourished, and he needs to have his fluids injected directly into him. And neither baby is too keen on the bottle or the taste of milk. The staff definitely has their work cut out for them, caring for this odd couple. Such extra sweet. The silver lining to all this mayhem, though, is that Benjamin got to skip out on two days of quarantine and went straight to Disneyland. And as you can expect, he's more than pleased to be outside with other babies. And that's it for this episode of The Vervet Forest. I hope you enjoyed it. Check back every week for a brand new episode. But if you want to see photos or videos of the babies in the meantime, check out our Instagram page, which is at vervet underscore forest. And if you want to learn how you can donate and help out the Vervet Monkey Foundation, check out our PayPal, which is paypal.me slash V-E-R-V-E-T. See you later.